Just got these seat belts in the mail. Got them from seatbeltsplus.com. Kind of cool, they're new seat belts. Kind of look with the, with the push button latch. Got that one for the, the middle seat. We got some retractable ones with shoulder belts for the passenger and driver seat. So. They look to be pretty good quality. Let's go ahead and get those thrown in and see what they look like. The seat belts are installed. It's a retractable seat belt. I don't know if you can see it because the light kind of sucks in here, but they're all installed and we got a lap belt for the center seat. So when I bought my new ignition switch, I bought it with new door locks so I'd have matching keys. And when I was online looking, the Mustang ones for the same year were cheaper than the F100 ones. So I ordered the Mustang ones because they looked exactly the same online. Well, I just took the one out of my truck and this part's a little different. The rest looks exactly the same. But it looks like I can take this part off and switch them so the Mustang one should work. If it works, I'll let you know and it'll be a cheaper alternative to the uh, F100 locks. Well, that part switches over to the same height same width so it just might work well it works Let's see if I can get get up in there and see if you can see it there you go or to use some Mustang ones instead of F100 and save a couple dollars. So I got a motor home out here that's going to be for a future project. But I think there's a couple parts on it I can use for Uncle Jesse. Need a horn, need a rear view mirror, and maybe a windshield washer reservoir. Well, it's kind of buried back here so I'm gonna see if I can get back here and get these parts without getting stung. Well, 700 wasps living in this thing, I think. Some more. I'm not sure if this will work, but there's a windshield washer reservoir. Watch for wasps. Side view mirror. There's a rear view mirror. Not sure why they even put these in the motor home, but 
I think I'll be able to use it. And it has a nighttime, daytime switch on it. Just like that, pop it right off. So I think I want to mount this arm in front of the core support behind the grill. Sound to come out in front of the truck. See if I can get this up in there. So on my swap, I moved the radiator back three inches and up two, I think, vice versa. Can't remember. When I did that, it kind of kinked this bottom radiator hose. I think I'm just going to cut a little bit off and see if I can pull that over and maybe straighten that out a little bit, get rid of that kink. So I got it trimmed up and only made a little mess. I trimmed about an inch and a half off of it, maybe. It's not perfect, but it's way better. Still has a little, little bit right here, but it's not creased like it was. It should flow just fine. I didn't get any of it filled, but I got the transmission filter replaced and the fuel filter replaced. I'll go ahead and top it off with some transmission fluid and then go take it for a test drive. According to what I've read online and what the dealership told me this morning, if you're just dropping the pan and changing the filter, it should only take about five quarts to top it back off. And that's all I bought, so I really hope it's accurate. So one of the things on this truck I did to qui try to quiet it down was put some of the sound ending mat inside the door. I put it all over the floors and the headliner and everything. And I'm also going to cover these holes up with some sound deadening. I'm sure there was probably some sort of plastic thing from the factory, but I don't have it anymore. So I'm just going to use some sound deadening mat. Another thing I'm going to do on this truck is in the later years, like I think 77, 78, they started putting a little bit of foam right here. Not so much to seal out the weather, but just to stop the noise. This channel kind of fits up into here. and with A little bit of a seal right here it stops a lot of the wind noise and they sell these seals. I've seen people buying just regular universal weather stripping off Amazon and putting that on there saying it worked great. But they sell replacement seals for, I can't remember if it was 77 or 78, into 79, but they don't advertise them for the earlier trucks. But I've already fitted up in there and I think it'll work. Just gotta cut the excess off and glue it onto this door. Hopefully that'll work to cut down some of the wind noise. I'll give it a shot. I'll let you know how it goes. So I saw some seals online that go right here on your door, maybe cover these holes. 
maybe help quiet down on the, the air noise in this truck. I'm doing everything I can to try to cut down on the air noise. But instead of buying some of those seals, I made this little template. I think I'm just gonna cut some out of this sound deadening material and put that on the door and see if that helps any. All right, I got that sound deadening mat around them holes in the door. Put a little bit here too. Get a little bit more up under the dash also. See if that helps. Out with the old. In with the new. What do you guys think? Stay with the classic original steering wheel or go something a little more? The main reason why I want to do this is to have a little bit more leg room to get in and out of the truck. Since I lower, lowered the steering wheel, I cut four and a half inches out of it, which also lowered it a little bit. And this will make it a little bit easier to get in and out of. But what do you think? New steering wheel or a classic old one? I'm also going to replace this uh, cancellation switch for the blinker so I don't leave my blinker on anymore. Went to O'Reilly's today and found the right uh, turn signal cancellation cam. The one I ordered was the wrong one, but found one this morning. Surprisingly, O'Reilly's had it in stock. Go ahead and get that switched out and see if my blinkers will shut off on their own now. They look the same. You can see the part that broke off. Hopefully these ones last a little longer. I bought one of these aftermarket ones one time and it didn't last me a week. These just broke off. But this one from O'Reilly's is actually lifetime warranty. So even though it would be a pain changing this out every time, if it does break, I can just take it back and get another one. On this truck, I... My, we did the floors, they were all rusted out. I lifted the floor about two inches, that way the body would set down over the frame a little bit more. Now my carpet doesn't quite reach to go back under this plate right here, so what I'm going to do is get a piece of aluminum, trim it to fit, and then just screw the carpet down behind this. Get it mocked up first. Mark the holes so they match up where the screws are in the bottom plate so it'll look a little uniform.
Might not be the best solution, but a lot better than what it was. Try and get this thing vacuumed out and cleaned up a little bit. Got the headliner all in. Now I can move on to these visors. The original visors really aren't in that bad of shape, just really dirty. Probably clean these up and still use them. But I have some black ones to go with the rest of the interior. I think I'll save these maybe for a future project. Visors are in, headlighter is in, blinker switch is fixed, steering wheel's back on. I think it's ready to take this thing for a ride. So when I first got this truck, it had some fog lights on it. They're just some ugly square ones. And I wanted to put some back on it to kind of go with the theme of this truck, which is ugly but I just don't know if I'm sold on them or not. I was gonna wire them into my high beams so they'd come on with my high beams, but I don't know. Tell me what you think. Should I put the fog lights back on or leave them off? Taking the F-250 out for a drive after putting the new seals and a little bit more sound ending on it. I don't know if you can tell by the video, but it really helped the wind noise. It also helped the exhaust sound inside the cab. It's not as bad anymore. Only doing about 60, but it helped a lot. I did put my steering wheel on a little crooked after fixing the uh, blinker switch though. So I'm gonna have to fix that or it's gonna bug the hell out of me.